Hey everyone, it's Ark here. How's it going? I'm going to do a quick tutorial for anyone having issues running the uh, new Dawn Trail benchmark for Final Fantasy XIV. I'm going to talk you through how to get it stable, and probably for a few games like Lords of the Fallen or any Unreal Engine 4 games, this will also be very helpful. So I apologize for the uh, screen recording. I just don't have a capture card, um, so I'm just using my phone. Um, so I'm going to talk you through it, and hopefully this will be very clear and to the point. So if you have a 13th gen processor or a 14th gen processor, as you can see here, I have a 14900. If you have a 13th gen um, or 13900K, uh, same thing, KF, KS, same thing. What tends to happen is these processors have a memory controller issue, so um, they tend to crash a lot if they get pushed a little too hard. So I'm going to talk you through what you need to do. You're going to restart your system, and the first screen you want to get to, this is the ASUS one, is going to your BIOS. Uh, once you're in your BIOS, you're going to want to go down to your advanced mode options here on the bottom right. From advanced mode options, we're going to go to AI Tweaker, or if it's MSI, there's usually like an AI or advanced tab or something where you can go in and select different options. From there, you're going to want to find what we're looking for is a, the performance core ratio. And this is going to be by default set to auto. You're going to want to change this from auto to by core usage or anything on your BIOS that lets you enter this manually. For me, it's by core usage. If I set it to auto, it hides it. But once I set it to core usage, it shows every core, as you can see, set to auto. So what I do from here is I go in and I manually enter the upper limits of the performance cores. So what this means is if it's one core ratio limit, two core ratios, what that means is if one core is being pushed, what's the maximum limit? If two cores are being pushed, what's the maximum limit? Three, four, etc. If all eight cores are being pushed, what's the maximum limit? So from here, we're going to enter the following numbers. If you have a 14900K, or if you have a 13900K, you're going to want to enter 57, 57, and then the rest are going to be 54 or 55, depending on your mileage. 54 to be safe is what I would recommend. So at the start, you saw I had 57. So the first one is going to be 57. The second is going to be 57. Sorry for my mouse jitter. Now in the third, all the way to eight, we're going to add 54, 54. Or you can go with 55, whichever one is your preference. 54, 54, and then 54. Once you've done this, or 55, again, it's really up to you what processor you have. You're going to go over to Exit, and then you're going to Save Changes and Exit. It says no changes were made to the BIO settings because everything's more or less the same. Once you do that, you're gonna, your system will reboot a couple of times and that should hopefully get you to a stable clock speed on your processor, allowing you to complete all of your runs on Final Fantasy XIV for the benchmark. And this will also be helpful for anything like Dragon's Dogma, Lords of the Fallen, etc. So hopefully that was helpful. If it was, leave a comment below and just let me know what else I can help you guys with. Have a great one, guys.